you can enjoy the rich spice flavor of traditional deep fried apple fritter donuts with my healthier air fried version with a cream cheese maple glaze. They're made gluten-free with almond, oat, and tapioca flour, and they're naturally sweetened with maple syrup, applesauce, and apples. They have a crispy outside after only eight minutes in an air fryer and a soft and flavorful inside with sauteed cinnamon apples. The maple cream cheese glaze is drizzled over the top for incredible flavor without the need for refined sugar, powdered sugar, or white flour. Everyone will devour these fritters even if they don't have a gluten allergy, and they couldn't be any easier to make. We're gonna begin by preparing our apples, and you can use any variety that you like. So I'm gonna pop out the cores with my little apple core here. Out comes the core. And then I'm just gonna chop my apples into roughly half inch chunks. You could use these apples uncooked in the donut batter, but sauteing them is gonna really bring out the flavor and make them even more delicious. To saute the apples, you'll want to bring a frying pan to about medium to high heat. And you can go ahead and just add your apples. And to help soften them and add some more flavor, I'll add about two tablespoons of butter. And for a little sweetness, I'll add two tablespoons of maple syrup and about half a teaspoon of cinnamon and several pinches of salt. And I'll just stir all together and let these cook down and soften for several minutes. And to speed up the process, you could put a lid over your pan, which will help trap in that steam, which will soften those apples a little bit faster. Those apples are getting nice and soft and they're soaking up the flavors. And you'll know your apples are done after about four or five minutes because they will have reduced in size and they're starting to get a little bit darker in color. And then I have a plate with a couple sheets of paper towel. And then I'm just gonna transfer the apples onto the paper towel so that they can cool while we make our donut batter. To make our simple donut batter, we're gonna start with our wet ingredients, which includes one egg, a fourth a cup of unsweetened applesauce, three tablespoons of melted butter, a fourth a cup of maple syrup, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then we'll whisk these together until well combined. Now we can add our dry ingredients, which includes one cup of almond flour, one cup of oat flour, for that perfect pairing of oat and apple flavor, half a cup of tapioca flour, and then I have one teaspoon of baking powder, a fourth a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon cinnamon, a fourth a teaspoon nutmeg, and a fourth a teaspoon of salt. And then we'll just mix these together until well combined. And then you're gonna have this nice, thick, and chunky batter. Now you want your batter to be thick enough that it holds the peaks when you pull it to the center. And that lets you know it's gonna be just right and it won't spread too much in the air fryer. Now before I dump out all the apples, I'm gonna hold some back so that we can put them on the top of our apple fritters. So I'll just add a few to one of these bowls. And now the rest go into our batter. And then we'll just stir these in with a spatula. Ooh, that looks so delicious and it smells incredible. We're going to cook these fritters inside our air fryer basket, but first we want to put down a piece of parchment paper, because if we don't, some of that batter is gonna seep through our basket and it's gonna be difficult to get the fritters out. So you can just remove the basket or the tray from your air fryer. And then I'll take a sheet of parchment paper and I want it to be cut just a little bit smaller than the outside of my tray. So I'm just gonna make a quick fold to give myself a cut line. As these fritters are cooking inside of your air fryer, the air is gonna be blowing around. And so I have found that with the parchment paper, if you don't cut off these little corners, then that air can kind of blow the paper up like this and it can go over your fritter. So to avoid that, I simply fold my square into force, take my scissors, and then just round off the corner. I know this might feel like an origami project, but it makes a big difference. Now you can use a large spoon or I'm gonna use my cookie scoop to scoop the batter onto the tray. And you get to make these as small or as large as you like. I'm just gonna give it a generous size scoop. And then we want to make sure that as we put them on the paper that they have plenty of room for the air to circulate. Now you also get to decide on the shape of your fritters. You can keep them as kind of a ball shape or you can kind of spread them out so they're circular or you can make them a little bit more of like an oval, which is my preference. So I'm just gonna take a spoon and shape the fritters and I want to make sure those gorgeous apples are exposed. And that's gonna help them look like the traditional fritters that we all love. And then if you feel like there's any spots that could use a few more apples, you can go ahead and take some of your extras here and just push them right into your batter. Now to make these characteristically crispy on the outside but then soft on the inside, we're gonna to want to baste them with some coconut oil. And this will allow the outside to get crispy while it's inside the air fryer. And then paint your coconut oil right on top of your fritter and you'll want to go on top as well as all the way around. 
And now I can lower these inside my air fryer basket. And then I'll set my air fryer to 380 degrees for eight minutes. While the fritters are in the air fryer, we can go ahead and prepare our cream cheese glaze. We're gonna start with two ounces of room temperature cream cheese, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of maple syrup, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and two pinches of salt. Then I'm gonna roughly mix these together with a fork. And then I'm gonna warm this up in my microwave for about 20 to 25 seconds, just to help all those ingredients melt together. So after 20 seconds, I'm gonna go ahead and mix these together again with my fork. You can also mix the glaze in a small blender to make sure it's well incorporated and smooth. Yay, they're done. Oh, those look so good. I'm gonna take my spatula and carefully lift these up and out. They are perfectly toasted on the outside. Oh, those look so good. You can see they're nice and toasted on the outside, but then soft on the inside. And now I'm gonna use my pastry brush and just brush on that delicious glaze all over our donuts or fritters. Donuts, fritters, they're both delicious. Now as these sit and cool, that glaze is going to soak into the donut and will become even a little bit more transparent, which means you'll be able to see those gorgeous apples through the fritter. But if you're impatient like me, you can enjoy them as soon as they're cool enough to handle. Mm. That is delicious. That has all the delicious flavor and characteristics of an apple fritter, but I think even better. As soon as you bite in, you can't avoid those big, juicy, chunky apples that are glazed with that delicious flavor all around them. And then you get the soft texture of the inside of the donut, as well as that little bit of crispiness from the outside. And then getting that little bit of sweetness coming in from the glaze with that cream cheese just takes the flavor up a notch. Now, does it taste the same as a deep fried donut? Of course not, but it's a delicious substitute that's going to make you feel great even after you eat it. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today to make these donuts. I've included a link to the full recipe and it's in the video description below, which is on my website, gentletummy.com. And I also invite you to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you know someone else who loves donuts but could use a healthier option, please share this video with them. And I cannot wait to have you hang out with me again in my kitchen.